Welcome to Electro Online. Here we're starting a new playlist in geometry about the circle. So of course the first video we're going to talk about what a circle actually is. It's a geometric figure such that every point on the figure, every point on the circle, is equidistant, the same distance away from the point at the center of the circle. Then you can say that the distance, for example, here we have an example where we have a circle, A is here represents the point at the center, and notice the distance from any of these points, point B, point C, point D, point E, to the center is the same distance. So you can say that the line segment from A to B is congruent to the line segment from A to C, is congruent to the line segment from A to D, is congruent to the line segment from A to E, and it would, that, it would be that way for every point on the circle, and that by definition is a circle. Now, some of the things that we need to know is the following. How do we represent the circle? Well, we can talk about the circle with a given point. So if we label the point at the center of the circle, we can then say this is circle A. So that's referencing to the central point of the circle, circle which essentially defines the circle along with the radius. If you give the point at the center of the, ra of the circle and the radius, you know everything there, there is to know essentially about the circle. We can also label it like this. We draw a little circle symbol. Notice we have a little dot in the center representing the center of the circle and then the letter A which, which represents the point at the center. So there's different ways in which we can represent the circle. Now there's some things we need to know about the circle. For example, a line that is drawn which the, from one point on the circle to another point on the circle but it does not go to the center of the circle. That's called a chord. Now, if it goes to the center of the circle, it's also a chord, but then it's also equal to the diameter of the circle. So that's the two points that are farthest away from each other in the circle. That line connecting those two points is the diameter of the circle. Have that line, that would then be the radius, or any point on the circle from there to the center of the circle, that's then called the radius. So here we have a few definitions. Notice that line segment AB and DE are called chords, but DE is also called the diameter because it goes to the center. C is the center point on the circle, so that's called the center of the circle. And CF, a line from the center to the outside on a point on the circle, that is then called the radius. Notice that CD and C can also be called the radius. The radius is half, and of course I didn't finish this word yet, it's half the diameter. We go and we can write it like this capital R can be indic indicative of the radius capital D can be in the indicative of the diameter sometimes we also use a small d depend depend upon what text we use and so we can see that the radius is always exactly equal to half the diameter now don't confuse this d with this d that's not related we simply say that d either capital D or small d is in the indicative of the diameter and typically large r is indicative of the radius but I've seen small r as well the circumference meaning the distance going all the way around the circle is equal to 2 pi times the radius now what is pi pi is approximately 3.14159 so we can write that down somewhere so pi is approximately equal to and this means approximately equal to maybe I'll write it like this there we go, that's probably better. About 3.14159 out to five decimal places. But of course it goes down to an infinite number of decimal places because it, there's no exact number equal to the number pi. We'll talk a little bit more about that in the next video. We can also say that the circumference is pi times the diameter since the diameter is twice the radius. These are equivalent equations. We can also talk about the surface area of a circle and the surface area is equal to pi times the radius squared or if we want to use diameter it would be pi times the diameter squared divided by 4. And notice we sometimes can also write this the circumference of a circle or the area of a circle and that's another way in which we can define uh, the characteristics or the naming convention dealing with circles. So that gives you a pretty good inroad some of the basic terms used for circles and now we're going to talk about more about all the various things you need to know about the circle and the lines going through the circle and the, circum and the uh, figures put inside the circle or figures circumventing the circle and things like that. There's a lot to be known about circles and so the next videos hopefully will make all that clear to you.